I'm Tammy Brawley with The Green Kitchen, and welcome to a special outdoor edition of Heart of the Home. We're at Old Tavern Farm in New Kent, and in case you hear any rough noises in the background, they are building a, an elementary school across the street from us, so hopefully I can talk louder than the noise they make. Today we are focusing on spring. We have got some delicious strawberries that are in season now, not to mention some delicious organic spinach, and we're gonna make a delicious salad of spinach, strawberries, goat cheese, sunflower seeds, but one of my specialties is a strawberry vinaigrette. We're gonna talk about how to make that in just a moment. Um, what we wanna do is have just a, basically a small food processor. You don't have to have a large one. And you want to add about a cup or two of berries to the food processor. You can do a rough chop on them, but keep in mind the food processor is gonna do most of the work for you. All right. And then to that, we're gonna add two tablespoons of vinegar. Your recipe that you're gonna see calls for white vinegar. I happen to have some raspberry vinegar. Um, really, any flavored vinegar you want, I think is great. We're gonna do about two tablespoons of that. And anytime you make a vinaigrette, it's two parts vinegar to uh, four parts of olive oil. So what I have is the two uh, tablespoons of vinegar, and then I've got a quarter cup of olive oil, And one thing you would always want is a little bit of Dijon mustard, not for flavoring purposes. You're actually getting ready to emulsify this dressing. So you want the mustard there because it will help suspend the oil molecules. It's a great way to get two things to get married that don't want to get married. We're going to put our lid on and we're going to process that. Now you might have noticed I hadn't added the olive oil yet. We've just got the vinegar, the mustard, and the strawberries. While your food processor is running, you can run it through the feed tube, which in this little one happens to be on top. It's just going to add the olive oil a little slow. Helps incorporate it that much better. Give it a chance to get down in there. And one thing that is great is when you go to pick fresh strawberries, you always pick probably more than you need. And then when you get home, you don't know what to do with all of them. Um, you can make the strawberry vinaigrette that we're going to show you, certainly the salad that will be in season at that time. And then um, one thing you can do is actually put them in the freezer. This is a great way to keep them for the, um, another process in the uh, future, such as this vinaigrette. I've used fr um, frozen strawberries many times. All right, we're just about done adding the olive oil to our vinaigrette. All right, that is pretty much finished. You can see it's a beautiful color. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take our fresh spinach. We have it in a bowl waiting for us. You want to add a little bit of dressing, all right? Dressings for salads really should be glistening. They should not be sopping wet or, or um, swimming, so to speak. So you just wanna add a little bit. You can toss it up with your hands. Oh, this is such a beautiful color. Add it to your serving bowl. And then you want to get in there with the fresh strawberries. One thing I might have forgotten to mention at the beginning is when you work with fresh strawberries after you've picked them, you don't want to wash them until right before they're getting ready to be used. You want to take the green off of the end. That can go in your compost pile. And then these nice fresh slices for the salad. It's already looking like spring, that beautiful healthy color and then pinch off a little bit of goat cheese to go in that. If goat cheese is not your favorite, I recommend feta. I think feta is a good balance against the um, spinach. You might notice I still have my glove on. You might want one of those for the goat cheese. And then top it with a little bit of toasted sunflower seeds. 
And there you have it, a beautiful spring salad with fresh strawberries, fresh spinach, goat cheese, and sunflower seeds, and that delicious strawberry vinaigrette that's very easy to make. Thank you for joining us for Heart of the Home, and we'll see you next time. Recipes from the Heart of the Home can be found on the Virginia Farm Bureau website at vafb.com slash recipes, as well as on Chef Tammy Brawley's website at greenkitchenrichmond.com.